Welcome to the session on Dynamics of Machinery. In this session, we are going to discuss the syllabus of Dynamics of Machinery of Mumbai University. This is the C scheme syllabus, which is also called as the R19 scheme. Let's start. The semester in which this subject occurs for C scheme R19 syllabus is the fifth semester. The course code is MEC 503. Now, we will discuss about the various modules that are present first. There are total six modules. The first module consists of the study of gyroscopes and governors. In governors, we talk about Porter governor and the Hartnell governor. There are only two types of governors in the syllabus. From the module one, you can expect 15 to 20 marks question. Other topic apart from these two is the performance characteristics and governor power and effort for both the governors. The formulas and theory has to be studied. Also numerical based on this is important. So you can expect at least one numerical or maybe some theory question from this governor. Next we'll talk about gyroscopes. Here there are few topics to be studied. The first one is gyroscopic couple and its effect on spinning bodies. This is the basic theory for the working of gyroscope. Then there are two applications mainly that you will find here. One is the aeroplane stability and the other is the naval ships which has to be studied during its steering, pitching, rolling motion and the stabilization of the naval ships. So these are the topics which you need to study in which you can expect a numerical of 10 marks from either the aeroplane or the naval ship section or you could have a 5 mark theory question. So between governors and gyroscope there could be total of say 2 numericals and 1 theory or it could be just 2 numericals or it could be just 1 numerical and 1 theory. So I have given an approximate of 15 to 20 marks for this module 1. Next, we'll talk about module 2, which is asked for approximately 10 to 15 marks. In this, there are two topics. The first one is the static and dynamic force analysis of slider crank mechanism. Here, you will study about what is a slider crank mechanism, how do you calculate linear and angular velocity and acceleration. Then, you will study the various forces that act on the slider crank mechanism during its motion. So here you can expect a numerical for 10 marks. The next topic in module 2 is dynamically equivalent system wherein you convert a rigid body into two masses. And specifically in this syllabus you generally study about the case study of connecting rod. So there will be a connecting rod, there will be two ends to it, a big end and a small end. You will have to calculate its equivalent masses. So this is another topic. There is a theory question with that is a short note on dynamical equivalent system could be asked or there could be a simple numerical asked on this topic. So I have given approximately 10 to 15 marks, say a 5 marks theory and a 10 marks numerical or just a 10 marks numerical. So that's about the module 2. Next comes module 3 which can again be asked for 10 to 15 marks. Module 3 is about basic concepts of vibration wherein you can expect some theory question like what is vibration and oscillation or what is the difference between the two. There are questions like causes and effect of vibration which can be asked. Then importance of study of vibration is another question. So these are certain topics which you need to study apart from some more basic terms like what is periodic motion, what is a periodic motion, what is simple harmonic motion. So these are some more basic concepts of vibration which you can just go through. So you can expect a 5 mark theory question here from this topic. The next topic in module 3 is free undamped single degree of freedom vibration system. In this you need to first study what is longitudinal, transverse and torsional vibration system. Then there are numericals based on this which you can solve using either Newton method, energy method, Lagrangian method or Rayleigh's method. You can use any one method and you can solve a numerical. So from this topic of free and damped single degree of freedom vibration system, you can expect a numerical. So I have given 10 to 15 marks allocation to module 3. 
Next comes module 4, which is for approximately 10 to 15 marks. Here there are two topics again. The first topic is pre-damped single degree of freedom vibration system. There are two types of damping to be studied here. One is viscous damping and the other is coulomb damping. In viscous damping, you will study about underdamped, critically damped and overdamped system. You should also know what is logarithmic decrement. So this is viscous damping and you can expect a numerical on this topic. Same goes for the coulomb damping wherein you can expect a numerical. So either one of the topic you can have a numerical say of 10 marks. Then there is another topic of equivalent single degree of freedom vibration system wherein your numerical will have multiple springs, multiple masses, multiple dampers and you need to convert them into a single spring mass damper system and then solve it. So this is a type of numerical itself and you may expect 10 mark numerical. Now there could be simple theory questions like what are the types of damping. So that could be a 5 mark question here or you may have a 10 mark numerical. Then module 5 could be asked for 15 to 20 marks. These are the various topics included in module 5. The first one is forced single degree of freedom vibration system wherein you learn to analyze linear and torsional systems subject to harmonic force excitation. So you can expect a numerical on this topic. Next comes vibration isolation and transmissibility. Here you study these three topics that you can see. One is force transmissibility, one is motion transmissibility and the third one is the typical isolators and mounts that are there. So here you can have a 10 mark numerical on this topic and the last topic here is vibration measuring instruments. Here you will study about the principles of seismic instruments, vibrometer, accelerometer, damped and undamped types, both. Then you will be studying about introduction to conditioning, monitoring and fault diagnosis. So based on this topic, you may expect a 5 mark theory question or there could be a 10 mark numerical also based on these instruments and how they work. So module 5 is little important. It has a little higher weightage like module 1. So it is approximately 15 to 20 marks. Then you have the last module which can again be asked for 10 to 15 marks. Here there are two topics. One is rotor dynamics wherein you should study about the critical speed of single rotor which could be of undamped or damped type. And in balancing, you will have to study about static and dynamic balancing of multi-rotor system. You will have to study only up to 4 rotors. Balancing of reciprocating masses in inline engines up to 4 cylinders only. And what is V engine. So you just need to know a little bit of basics of it. Numerical based on balancing is very important and it is repeated in almost every paper. So you can go through this topic of balancing for numerical. In rotor dynamics, you can have some numerical or theory. So approximately 10 to 15 marks has been allocated to this module 6. Now whatever numericals and theory I have told you to study here, these are some permutation combination. It is not necessary that every module will be asked for this much mark only. It could be 5 marks or 10 marks, you know, plus and minus. So you just need to go with the tolerance. But you need to study the topics as I mentioned you where you will be having theory and where you could have numericals. Now apart from this there are a few more information given here. You can see the reference material that you can use. According to the syllabus these are some IIT courses given to you. You can just go through the NPTEL courses. These are few books which you can refer. Theory of Machines by SS Ratan. Theory of Machines by RS Khurmi. These two books you can use for module 1, 2 and 6. Mechanical Vibrations by S.S. Rao. Mechanical Vibration by G.K. Grover. Fundamentals of Mechanical Vibration by Graham Kelly. These are the books you can use for the topics of vibration that is module 3, 4 and 5. The examination pattern is very simple. There will be two unit tests for 20 marks each which will be averaged out to 20 marks. And the end semester exam is of 80 marks. So the summation of these two marks is 100. You will also have to submit some assignments and experiments. So that will be roughly around 25 marks. A viva will be conducted on the subject which will be of 25 marks. So the grand total of the subject is 150 marks that's mentioned here.
so this is the overall idea of the subject of dynamics of machinery this is actually two subjects combined together one is theory of machines and the other is mechanical vibration so you can refer these books apart from this you can also refer a book of vp singh for mechanical vibration if you want to so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the overview of the subject if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you